hello honeys and welcome back to my channel so this is the honey coven collective spell video for march and this is the full moon and also the road opener spell i decided to do them together because these energies were very um entwined this month i feel with ostara coming up and all of the different just re rebirth and opening new beginnings um energies this month i thought it would be perfect to really combine these these spells if you haven't heard of the changes i'm making to the honey coven collective definitely check out my video that i just released on my channel i have some exciting news and things that will make this more available for everybody so definitely check that out if you're interested in being a part of this spell So I also wanted to give thanks and hold space for our Honey Cabin members, Dawn, Alisa, Nicole, Tanya, Michelle, and Tabitha, who is our newest member. So welcome, Tabitha. Thank you all for being a part of our, the Honey Cabin memberships and all of your amazing support. It means the world to me. And I also wanted to give thanks to Kathy, Rose, and Lori for being a part of this month's spell. So this month I decided to do a bath ritual and for our spell I'm making some bath salts for us. So these were super juicy and it was really, um, I wanted to focus on that, those rebirth energies and new beginnings. So I added these herbs and different florals for Ostara, inspired by Ostara and it just turned out so beautiful and juicy. So I'm adding some crystals here. We have our moss agate, some adventurine, and rose quartz. And I also added some essential oils. And I did add in some food grade polysorbate 80 which is an additive that helps your oils combine with your water so you don't have any oil sitting on top which can actually be pretty dangerous getting on your skin and it is food grade so definitely don't worry uh, about any toxicity or anything but i go as natural as possible here but i did add um, some lemon and lavender essential oils And here I was just separating out the two into two different parts because I am adding to this batch some coconut milk for a vegan option. And adding it to the bowl, I will be placing under the full moon. Of course, with our formulated quartz sphere that I love so much. Didn't this turn out so beautiful, y'all? I just love it. And 
and to this one this is my non-vegan one if you are um, not worried about any kind of animal products i added some super yummy goat's milk powder some bee pollen for motivation and some honey granules she's so pretty I'm gonna shake her up until all the ingredients are combined and this makes the most delicious milk bath it is just so good I'm saying a few words over it to really bring in our intentions and holding space for everybody who was a part of this spell I really like to take my time during this part and pour in my intention into the work and my energy. And I hope you can feel it. Now I'm placing it on my windowsill under the full moon. I am releasing all of our intentions into the universe so that these energies can be brought into our lives. Now I am separating these into some options for if you wanted to make these yourself, you can easily put them into your little vials. And these, um, the giveaway winner for this spell will be able to choose either the vegan or non-vegan option. So we'll hang around to the end and you will see who the winner of one of these beautiful little vials is. If you wanted to make these yourself as well for like gifts or to sell in a shop or anything these are some really cute options for packaging as well so there they all are under the full moon So next you're going to see part of the bath ritual that I did for us and this turned out so beautiful. So my favorite time to do Ostara bath rituals specifically um, is in the morning if you can. I just really love like that morning light and it's such a relaxing way to start your day and really open up to those new growth energies and new beginning energies. Um, and I have been sleep chaining my son for the past like five months to be able to take this bath in the morning. I'm totally kidding. I don't plan that far ahead, but um, he did end up actually having his morning nap around this time. So it was perfect.
I'll also be including one of these little sachets so whoever wins the giveaway can take a bath with their salts without getting all the herbies into their water. You can see all the milkiness being released into the water. And surprise, I will also be giving away one of these golden egg bath melts from Lush. I am so excited about these. This and the golden egg body wash also smell like the scrubbies, which are my favorite product from Lush ever. It is like the most delicious smell you'll ever smell in your life. And finally, the winner for this month's special O-Star giveaway is Tanya. So congratulations, Tanya. I'm so excited for you. Um, I will be in contact with you to send you, send these two beautiful items to you and you can choose which salt you want. This is that other golden egg body wash that I was telling you about and I just wanted to show you how freaking gorgeous it is. Happy Ostara to everybody out there and I hope you are having a beautiful end of your March. Sweet blessings to you honeys and remember to be a wildflower. Bye!